Hi everyone, uh, I'm Max, one of the assistant directors here at Triple C Camp, and today we're going to be making amazing bubbles. So we're going to create an at-home bubble mixture, show you how to make a, a bubble wand, a tool to, to blow those bubbles, and uh, have some fun. So, uh, what we need for our bubble mixture is just a container. That could be a salad bowl, or maybe you have some of these handy tubs uh, like we do. This is a great size for it, but you just need a big vessel. And we're just going to be making one batch of it, and it, this uh, amount could last you more than one day of bubble fun. So we're going to start with six cups of water that we've pre-measured out here. And great activity that you can do together as a family. We can practice doing some measuring and uh, we get to, to mix up some bubbles. So I've added my water and the first two ingredients are important to add first so that they can get mixed together. And that is cornstarch. So the first two ingredients we wanna to mix together are the water and the cornstarch. And we're gonna use half a cup of cornstarch. And the reason we wanna do that is because we wanna get the cornstarch dissolved in the water first before adding the rest of the ingredients. So a nice wooden spoon will do that job. So we're gonna mix that together real nice uh, until the cornstarch is dissolved. Now this mixture is gonna sit for about an hour once it's all put together. And if you notice that the cornstarch is settled on the bottom, that's okay, just mix it back together. But we at least wanna start getting it all mixed up. All right, then it's time to add the rest of our ingredients. So we need a half cup of blue Dawn dish soap. Now, I'm not 100% sure on the science but why Blue Dawn works the best, but it seems to make the best bubbles. Of course, other generic dish soap will work, but for some reason, this Blue Dawn seems to have just that extra um. So we're gonna add a half cup of Blue Dawn dish soap. All right. We're gonna add a tablespoon of baking powder. That's gonna go in. Okay, and we're gonna add a tablespoon of glycerin. Now, if you don't have glycerin at home, that's okay. Some other substitutes are, you could use a little corn syrup or even some honey. This just helps to sort of make the mixture thicker so when your, your bubble wand or your bubble tools, that it's sort of viscous and is gonna catch on those tools and help to make nice big bubbles. So for us today, we're gonna use some of this glycerin here. So a tablespoon of the glycerin. All right. Some of my dish soap residue, get that in there, great. And of course, we're mixing it all together. But when we're mixing it, once our ingredients are added, you wanna be nice and gentle as you mix it so that you don't form bubbles. So we wanna avoid bubbles now so we can have bubbles later. So we're doing a nice gentle mix this may take a little bit, but that's okay. Nice soothing mix. Okay, once our mixture is put together, we're gonna let it sit for an hour before it's ready. As I mentioned before, you can come back and check, and if the cornstarch has sort of settled, just give it another gentle mix. All right, so while our bubble mixture is sitting for an hour, we're gonna make a, a bubble wand or a, a bubble tool. And that's uh, just with some yarn and two straws. In this case, I have some metal straws, but plastic straws are fine too. I have fed the yarn through my straws and I will recommend to wet the ends of your yarn as you feed it through the straws. It just makes life a little easier. Once the, the yarn is fed through the straws, we're gonna tie off the end so it makes a circle, a closed loop. And I like to do a square knot for that. Square knot's really simple, left hand, right hand. So I go left over right and under, wrap it around. And now looking at my hands, right over left and under, wrap it around, pull it together. Nice sturdy knot. All right, so now I have a loop. My straws are my handles. And then I can use this tool and I dip it in my bubble mixture and bring it up for my bubbles. One thing you want to think about is making sure that your bubble wand is slightly smaller than the container that your bubble mixture is in. All right, we're ready to go. And in an hour, we're going to make some bubbles. All right, hello everyone. We're back. Our bubble mixture has sat for an hour 
And now we're gonna give it a test. So Jude is gonna help me test our bubble mix using our homemade bubble wand out of two straws and some strings. So Jude, the straws are your handles. You're gonna dip it in and then draw it out and we'll see if we can make a bubble. All right. It's not. All right, let's go back in and kind of shimmy it around and get it fully submerged. All right. Oh, ho, ho. So we've got a nice bubble forming in the frame. Let's see if we can't figure out a way to... What if we just move it around? Whoa! Whoa. Wanna try again? So kind of draw it up fast and let's see if a bubble doesn't form. Yeah! All right. So imagination's the limit. If you want to, you could go really big and mix up a big vat inside a baby pool and use a hula hoop and see how big a bubble you can form. Oh. Let's try, let's try this. Woo! <sighs> Yay! I see you. Yeah! Thanks everyone. Homemade bubbles.